Hello and welcome to Getting Hyped for Gran Turismo 7. So uh, if you've been a long time subscriber, you, you know that we was part of the Gran Turismo beta. Uh, it was kind of the first wave of my channel and I've always been into sim sports, uh, sim racing. And uh, today we have a live reaction. So something a little bit different to what we usually do. And we're going to do a live reaction to the Gran Turismo Sport state of play. So, got some cameras set up, so let's see what we've got. Reference of tobacco, maybe some old school uh, racing cars in here. Right, so this is the trailer that we saw recently um, in like a portrait mode. MX5, new S15. GR Yaris! Turismo series. Ooh, Kaz. Today I'm here to give you an update on our latest game, Gran Turismo 7. It's out in less than a month. 2022. Over its 25 year history, the Gran Turismo series has... This is a new track, this has been remodeled. Is that a BMW 2002 there? Yeah. What's more? Gran Turismo 7. And I can see a wing on the STI. Suzuki Swift, Integra Type R over there. Gran Turismo 7 will represent the pinnacle of the GT journey. We think of it RX as the most complete GT to date. GR86 there as well. All with modifications. So that those who have never come into contact with 300 SL. Until now can really get to know the deep, rich world of cars. Oh, there's a new... Is that, is that a new R8? Don't... It might be, it might be R8 Evo there. And the four GT, of course. Whether you're a hardcore Gran Turismo fan or brand new to, I'm looking out for new cars here. I think Gran Turismo Seven will be enjoyable for everyone. Not sure whether that is an Evo version or not. The history of cars is long, and the world of cars is massive, with lots of attractive cars contained within. For GT Seven. Oh. Memia. -E okay, there's lots of cars there. I can't can't spot any new ones, but over 400 cars. I'm happy with that number. Man, I'm going to have to slow this down. Didn't see any new trucks there. Trial Mountain. So, it was still supported with online updates, great to see. High speed ring, Daytona, which we knew was coming. Get the GT7 player experience. Okay, world map. Here's the new map screen. Nice. The map is a menu that allows access. I hope the menus are going to be nice and quick to load. Our inspiration here was to create a paradise, almost a vacation resort that celebrates car culture. Okay, so it's like a petrol head to paradise. When you begin the campaign, you'll use provided in-game credits to purchase a compact car. Oh wow! So you're gonna start off, start off small, teeny weeny Toyota there. You've got levels as well. Okay. Yeah, it's traditional Gran Turismo here. Participating in races. Yeah, Sunday cups. And by tuning and upgrading your vehicles for better. Wow. There's like some extra detail there, Northern Valley. Locked a Master 2. Classic GT campaign mode, but GT7 has more to offer. Hey, Classic Mini. So it looks like you might have to get certain placings to unlock all those cars there. Cafe. One new feature is the Gran Turismo Cafe. This will be the center of the map in Gran Turismo 7. Nice MX-5. This is a bit like cars, um, caffeine in the machine. Players will be given a car collection menu. Reward for roulette ticket. Okay. You complete each menu by winning races and championships while exploring this car resort. Oh, I've still got daily workouts, that's cool to see. 
Oh, so you get daily workout gets you your roulette ticket. So that's how they can do that. Nice, that's another new Porsche, I'm pretty sure. That era of turbo. Sometimes the people who actually design those cars will appear to talk about the design in person. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Audi TT was iconic design when it first came out. By completing menus for a variety of car collections at the cafe, players will naturally come into contact with the history of cars and the culture behind them. That's kind of cool. Like if you're a bit of a car nerd, that's that's cool. Getting to learn a little bit more about it. Classic GT sound there. Brand Central. Porsche. Ford GT. Brand Central is a shopping mall where a player can purchase new cars. Here, players can purchase roughly 300 car models from 2001 and later. Okay, so this is where all the newer cars are situated. So evidently, 2001-4, you have to get them elsewhere. There's a Focus RS, that's confirmed then. Yeah, and there's Nissan Silvia S15. Looks like you could buy the uh, pace car, which was um, an unlock in GT Sport. Not only are there showrooms for purchasing cars, there's also a museum for each manufacturer where you can learn about the history of individual brands. That was in GT Sport though. This is the Museum of Porsche. And it begins with the birth of Dr. Ferdinand Porsche establishing his own design firm. I'm pretty sure most of that's in GT Sport. Seems this all looks quite cool. Oh yeah, nice Evo there. M3. Let's test the roster. Yeah. At the used car NA, Mazda A, MX-5. S2000, Lancia. Very popular used cars may be sold at an even higher price than when they originally came out. Oh wow. So, appreciating classics. These include the Japanese sports cars of the 90s that are seeing a big boom in popularity worldwide. 100 grand for an a uh, GTR. Couldn't touch. Okay, so this is like daily cars. Daily cars, okay. Legendary cars now. Aston Martin, Certain Shelby Copra. Marked their names in history books. Even oh, the CLK GTR. Will never fade. The legendary car dealership specializes in these types of famous vehicles. Wow, the beautifully detailed, really interestingly detailed. 917. Ah, oh, it'd be good to drive that down the mall, Sam. In the world circuit, you'll have access to a variety of tracks. At launch, GT7 will feature 34 locations and over 90 layouts. Okay, so I suppose we'll have to pause this and go back through. Real world and fantasy circuits. So I didn't see any new circuits shown there, but they did say they're going to support this with DLC afterwards. Legendary fantasy tracks from past GT games. Oh, such as trial that's um, the new Ferrari, isn't it? Ring. Return for GT7 with stunning uh, F8 Tributo. High speed ring. Got some memories there from GT5 and 6. There are various races and championships hosted at each track. I love a good bit of Le Mans. And the circuit experience activity can help you learn these tracks. And get you some extra money. If it's anything like GT Sport. Pagani Zonda R. Beautiful car. Okay. In some race mode, you can combine things like weather conditions and AI cars of your choice to okay. personalize races. Yes. Multi-class. That's what we want to see. No new GR1 cars that I saw there though. But multi-class. Oh, new Civic Type R. Many people look back and remember how hard they tried. Gauges at the bottom look pretty similar. I Naturally, love license tests. License tests where you can learn driving techniques from the ground up. Here, there are many short mini games that teach you these skills. 
Oh man, I cannot wait for this. Hurricane versus GTR. Oh look, it's got no rear wing. I like that. This is where you'll find unique events beyond typical races and time trials. Oh, drag racing. So yeah. Here's drag racing. Okay, you've got a little drag racing menu up there. More power. While also remembering the importance of throttle control from a standing start. Nice. That's pretty badass. Oh, now to the drifters. There are also drift trials where players compete. Bit using of drift scuba. Trials. There are several ways to play and interact. Is this with split screen? GT7. Yeah, split screen still there. Looks left to right players rather players than top and bot that you can bottom. Together in your it's an interesting choice. Different way of doing split screen for a racing game. But no, split screen is something that people almost don't want to do nowadays, or game developers don't want to do nowadays. Okay, meeting rooms. Places that you can enjoy with your friends online. Okay, as a merchant, I go LP640 up there. Finally, in sport mode, you can enjoy serious racing with players all over the world. There's a BMW again that we've seen. I don't know what we're in though. Not sure what car this is that we're currently on board. Oh, good move. There's going to be so many easter eggs that are going to come out when this gets dissected. Right, visuals and the simulation. Completely recreating beautiful cars is the essence of the Gran Turismo series. Supra. The PlayStation 5 version R34. of the features photorealistic graphics using ray tracing. Hey, ray tracing. First PS5 game to really use ray tracing in-game, is it? I'm not sure. Wow. Ray tracing aims to more accurately depict lighting and reflections. Wow, look at the, but the chassis in there. Pseudoform may actually be in the expression of cars. Man, I'm feeling the hype. The of cars reflect the world around them. With ray tracing, Mustang. The graphics of Gran Turismo make a jump into the next dimension. Wow. As long as it actually looks like that. Wow. Oh, look at that nice legacy of Mustangs. Weather simulation. Simulation. The color of the skies and the shape of the clouds you see every day are determined by the energy of the sun, the earth itself, and the condition of the atmosphere that surrounds it. All right, spa. Scale, air containing moisture from the oceans Look at those clouds up there, they look angry. The air is warmed by the Earth's surface, heated by the sun, which produces ascending air currents. The air containing it's good wood. Continue to rise in altitude due to this current. Looking pretty dark. A certain altitude and temperature creates the clouds you see in the sky. Seem to have a bit more undulation there than I remember in GT Sport. No Burgering. We have simulated the process of how these clouds... Oh, look at that sunset. Based on a vast amount of meteorological data, temperatures, humidity, and air pressure specific to each region. Okay, so do we get the weather based on the region? So, France actually is always going to be raining. Japan and skies in California will change as they do in California. Which I think is what they had in GT5. Had like, I know they had the star map. The Rain series has always placed the wow. on starless skies at night. Yeah, there we go. GT7, we have aimed for an even higher quality of expression. Milky Way there. Nice. Starry skies seen in specific locations at certain dates and times will be drawn using a simulation that includes not just stars, but even planets. Oh, nice. The moon will rise and set in the same way that the sun rises and sets. Wow. 
The color of the stars will change depending on whether the atmosphere is clear or hazy. <laughs> you, you can almost forget that this is a game. Time changes and weather simulations are expressed in the scenery and light. But on the track? Question mark? These factors can affect atmospheric and surface temperatures. Oh yeah, look, you can see it getting wet. Oh, you can see it getting wet. Look at that. She's wet, boys. Affect the tire grip, engine power, and strength of the slipstream effect. Wow, so it's integrating with the automotive physics simulation. It's even going to affect engine power and slipstream, which makes sense. More it dense air, and the surface becomes wet. Mexico. The puddles form in locations that are prone to them. Yeah, you can see the puddles forming on the inside of the corners there, where you're not driving so much. That tend to dry oh, worst. look at that. The areas with puddles will remain wet the longest. Oh, yes. Will occur naturally. Look at that nice dry line. I can't wait to do endurance so races on this. this. Weather simulation is a rain cloud radar that many players will be familiar with. Oh, look. A radar down the bottom. That is nuts. And predict the coming weather to a certain Porsche 911 GT1 there. On a huge circuit like the Nürburgring, it can rain on one part of the track while being sunny. Oh, that sounds so much fun. Partial wetness. Gran Turismo is a real driving simulator. But we always place the same level of importance in being able to watch your driving in a replay. I have to say, Gran Turismo's mode. replay mode is unparalleled in the gaming world. The mode is also present in GT7. Oh man, I cannot wait to slide around in the wet a little bit. I think that's a, a AMG GTR there. That's another new car that we knew was coming, but I've seen it again. Oh, look at that drying line. Music in the replay. The new music replay that dynamically generates a replay camera to match the background music. Okay, but is it going to be royalty free? Because we don't want to be getting copyright strikes. Where the cameras were fixed on the track. Camera positions and image cuts are now generated randomly every time to match the music, allowing you okay. to enjoy a different camera replay every time you run it back. I hope that's optional because I. Enjoyed the static cameras from GT Sport. I thought they were amazing. Part of the music replay. Oh, okay. Oh, common gear is it? Oh, okay. Nice change there to start the race. <laughs> uh, this is uh, the Alsace Village, is it? From GT Sport. So this track's staying then. I think pretty much every GT Sport track's staying. Hunting down that uh, Jaguar E type. Oh my god. Not my cup of tea with the music, but I. <laughs> oh, there's an applause as you pass a car. <laughs> my life. You're at the outside of an MX5. Okay, you go through there, you get another round of applause. Oh, that's a, that was, must have been what we was on board, that um, Nissan 240Z. The music wasn't my cup of tea. Car physics. Now this is what we want to see. Physics simulation, Gran Turismo has 25 years of history. Our team gathers feedback from many expert advisors, including Lewis Hamilton, top drivers of the FIA GT Championships, and our technical partners at Michelin. This nice. feedback fuels our automotive simulation, Megane which RS. means that track lap times are consistent to their real-life counterparts, and that the driving experience accurately reflects fine sensations. Dotting get her. The effects of front and rear vehicle height changes on the I think that's, that is the RA Evo because it's got two cameras on the front. Extreme effects are all recreated through an aerodynamic simulation using CFD. Nice. 
fully express reality. Devices oh, like the see the tires and wheels bounce on the cab there. Are very important. This is the reason for adaptive triggers and haptic vibrations. Right. Not that we use it because we're on a wheel, but appreciated. Vibration capabilities of the dual sense wireless controller. We're able to enhance the player's level of immersion on the PS5 console. The adaptive oh. triggers will allow your fingertips to feel the vibrations Locking up. of a tire locked state while braking. Nice. When the real car goes into a corner with too much speed, the front tires will be felt on the steering wheel. With GT7 and the dual sense controller combined, so I'm hoping it's possible to feel the state of the, the feelings that they're putting into the controller, they can also put into the force feedback, because just. GT Sport does have good force feedback, the but it's not the top, feel as if you're top of the range. Of a real car, feeling the track underneath. 3D audio, I was expecting this. Bit of Daytona. Console, 3D audio expresses the positions of various sound sources and the movements in a 3D space. So I suppose these are the things that you're going to miss out if you're on PS4. We can perceive where a sound is coming from. Oh, this is the um, oval version there. The left or right That's pretty cool. Front, we can identify when a sound is above us. Is that or behind an us? NSX GT3? Is, isn't that so new? Because I think that looks like the proper GT3 car rather than the concept the that's been in GT Sport. Right Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. That sound is coming from. 3D audio is a technology that recreates these sensations. And Daytona looks good. With a day night cycle around there. Here's a quick demonstration of some of the sounds of GT7. So we're on the FD at RX7. Okay, you can hear the train going above. <laughs> so it looks like that radar that we saw earlier for the weather is toggled. Now it's one of the options there. Nice. Maserati there. Sound effects are good. Oh, there's a Ferrari 280 GTO. In amongst that battle there. Beautiful car. Don't know if it's 280, it's definitely a GTO. Right, come on, get in. We have prepared approximately 60 types of performance parts per car. What we got, what we got. Air filters, chip tuning, tires, exhausts, suspension, clutches, LSDs, nice. All things we'd expect. Oh yeah, so anti-lag, I saw um, turbochargers as well. As you like. Oh wow! <laughs> Look at that Beetle! This is a wow. first generation Volkswagen Beetle. The people's car, designed by Dr. Ferdinand Porsche, is a rear wow. engine car, which is fairly rare nowadays. Okay, so some options here. Oh, blowing out. The one on the right made a massive difference. It's made a difference to the sound as well, which is always a tricky thing to do in games. So you're not going to be able to get a Beetle and do every single modification option to make sure it sounds right. Wow, it's ripping! <laughs> Look at that little thing go! It's got some front end modifications and some rear end modifications. Pretty badass to be able uh, to be fair. Oh, finally can change calipers. 
Tuning involves with spoilers. Car customization nice. Auto allows you to oh, I, this is just like GT5 and 6, I think. Over wow. 650 okay. aerodynamic parts, 130 types of wheels, 1200 colors of measured paint data. Wow. Go on forever with the numbers. Wonder how you're going to be able to. It says owned there as a color. So, you might have to unlock the paints. Aha, oh, look at that MX5. You can even install roll cages and do wide body modifications. A wide body on a BMW CSL. Oh, that's badass. Silhouette race car now. Delivery editor for decorating and painting cars. Has What's that carbon twill? You can put carbon bits on it. Ah. Apply stickers to areas that do not allow sticker placement in the past. Stickers on windows. Nice. The limit to the number of stickers that can be applied to the cars has also been increased. Nice. Out, out there for those uh, livery creators out there. Car wash. Nice, nice. GT Auto will include your familiar car wash and oil changes as well. Nice. Wonder if um, oil change after you buy a new car increases the performance. I wonder if that's still a thing. Um, uh, you, you used to get uh, that braking where you got increase in power and then it dropped off. That's a new Ferrari. And is in a mode where you can travel the world with your favorite car. Wow. Place the car of your choice in over 2,500 spots around the globe, and take cutting edge HDR. Oh photos. wow! Oh, I can't wait to get my hands on some of this. By combining true to life light information with photos, wow. this mode allows high level photographic expressions that are mostly impossible. Well, there's a lot more sh sh sliders. The four. Wow. Okay. Get in. What's this? Photo mode allows you to photo the okay. places you've participated in. Going to a real circuit to take photographs is a lot of work. But in GT7, you can photograph dynamic, beautiful shots that even professional photographers would struggle to take with much greater ease. Oh man. I do enjoy the photography modes in GT games, really do. Nice. Gran Turismo 7 is also a creative tool our players can use to produce various content. Okay, so this is like a community page. Replays, photographs taken in game, livery designs, and more. Oh my life! The showcase is a place where this content can be shared for other players to download. So it's very similar. Look at the wig on that thing! Finally, please settle in for a look at some new Gran Turismo 7 gameplay. Okay. I'm sitting Our closing segment shows two new features added to Gran Turismo 7. Okay, so this is new. The music rally, where you enjoy music while you drive. And the music replay, that syncs replays to music. Oh, yeah, this song was on Prologue, GT5 Prologue. Real-time images captured on the PlayStation 5 console. Okay, so what's happening here? So, okay, so you got to, so you got to do five point three four miles in the time of the song. Okay, so it's like a time trial to music. <laughs> that is, that is quite ins That's just that's real Japanese. That is right there. Driving an AC Cobra in a time trial to music. The track looks amazing. Trial Mountain. Look at the detail one.
Yeah, I remember this song. Right. Oh, nice drift. Now you've got the long straight through the tunnel, over the hills. I remember the first time I ever saw this get, uh, track, I think it was on GT... Um, maybe three, and you saw the reflection of the trees. Oh, we skipped to a different track. We're in Tokyo now. <laughs> it's a bit of a strange mode uh, to lead with, but hey. Oh, Red Bulls. Bit more of an upbeat tempo on these ones. High speed ring. Makes sense for these kind of cars. So this is a song for another GT game. Don't know which one, but it does sound familiar. Almost 80s kind of guitar. High speed ring still keeping its bank corners then. Be the last two corners you go through that bridge, and it's a right, then a left onto the start finish straight. 200 miles an hour! Wow. So, I think there's going to be a lot to do. There's going to be your license tests, your track experiences, your collecting of cars and modifying them. There's drag racing, group meets, and then there's going to be like a kind of sport mode, I would have thought. So it is coming March the 4th, it is on pre-order, so it should arrive, and I have taken a week off work, so I will be streaming and playing a lot of this here on the channel. And that's it. So, oh, caps up, I hope you really enjoyed that. Um, this was like a first reaction to this announcement. Um, if you did enjoy it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up, so with the cap. And if you didn't like it, that's perfectly fine. Give it a thumbs down. Just let me know in the comments how I can do it better next time. And uh, until then, good night.